Welcome to Tough PC's video webcasting tutorials. Please enjoy. Alright, guys, what's going on? Uh, this is my first ever tutorial on this account, so I'm just going to try and keep it simple. So, you all know Windows Movie Maker. It's pretty cool uh, video effects, editing, titles, clips, and credits kind of program. Alright, so getting started. What you want to do to get started is click on import video. You can import video from your uh, desktop if you want. I'm just going to add a sock, random sock puppet video and wait for this to load. By the way, before I start this tutorial, I just want to let you all know that uh, this is for XP. Vista users have to download it, not for XP, it is uh, automatically on the computer. So, once the uh, clip's done importing onto Windows Movie Maker, go ahead and import the clips. Alright, I'm only gonna uh, import two clips into the video. Alright, so, the first off on this tutorial, go ahead and import titles which I'm sure you all want to do so go ahead and click on uh, add title at the beginning of the movie I'm just gonna put a uh, sock puppet once done that you can change the uh, title animation if you go ahead and want to do that you can do fade wipe uh, I'm just gonna choose fade wipe and go ahead and change the text and font and color you can change your color uh... different color background so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick uh... red and you can change the typing of your color if you would like to do that i'm just gonna change mine to white now transparency is basically how good you can see through the letters letters for example i turn this up to one hundred and you can barely see the letters so i'm just gonna go Hen pick zero transparency and change the size up a little bit. You can change it up or down. Nope, it's too big. Alright, there we go. Okay, now you can change the position left, right, or middle. I choose middle. And go ahead and change the font if you'd like. I like Arial Black. It's pretty cool. Alright, now once you've done all this, go ahead and click Done, Add Title or Movie. And play the video to see how it turned out. Sock Puppet. And you can change the uh, length. So, there's my video, and, uh, that is the title. Alright, so, adding a title at the specific events in the, uh, movie, let me show you what I mean. Go to Make Title or Credits, and hit Add Title on the selected clip in the timeline, and I'll click Awesome, I'll just type that. I'm not gonna change the font around, because you already know how to do that. So go ahead and click add title or movie. Once done that, you can uh, move this title that you want wherever you want. doesn't matter. There's my video. And alright, so next up, I'm sure you all are dying to add cool special effects to your videos so I'm going to show you how go ahead and view video translations translations are basically cool special effects that you can add in between parts of a video let me show you what I mean I'm going to pick checkerboard go ahead and drag it to the timeline once you drag it, like I've showed you before, you can change the pos position in which you want it to be in. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right after the title. And let me show you how it turns out. And there you have it. Alright, next up is video effects. Video effects are basically cool little... uh types of stuff you can add in between your videos for example like black and white fade in from white like it's white then it fades into normal blur just mess around with these alright to make credits go ahead and click on make titles or credits 
click on add credits at the end of the movie and just type something the cast is the puppets so you can also change the animation and color in which you want the credits to be so I'm just gonna hit done add title to movie and this is what it looks like if you want to check it out you can also change the speed of the credits by dragging how short you want the credits to be alright well uh... music you can add by simply clicking import audio or music and I'm just gonna pick sample music Beethoven sympathy and once again it will be in the collections go ahead and drag that to the timeline and there should be another bar that has opened so it should be longer than your video if it is just go ahead and grab the ends of the audio clip and drag it back to how uh, far your video or short it is so I'm just gonna port it right there now pictures you can import is basically go ahead and import pictures and look in the pictures go I'm just gonna put my uh, dog right there to import pictures go ahead and insert it on the timeline that's just a random picture of my dog right there. And, well, that's basically it for Windows Movie Maker. So, once you're done with the movie, go ahead and save to my computer. Once you save the video to my computer, name it whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna name it Sock Puppet. Hit next and best quality for your movies I'd recommend. And just wait for the uh, video to save. Now this is the downside on Windows Movie Maker. It has to load the videos and this may take a while on slow computers. mine is kind of a slow computer so I probably will not save the whole thing yeah I'm definitely not gonna save the whole thing but once you're done just simply hit next and it will ask you if you want to play your movie so go ahead and play the movie if you wanna see how it turned out and put on YouTube if you want Okay, well, this completes our top PC video casting tutorials. Please subscribe if you liked it and enjoy.